Hi, this is Mark Green with Short Sale Operations, and I want to give you a little history lesson about the Equator computer program which banks use to negotiate short sales. About two years ago, Bank of America was the first to employ this system, and there were a lot of kinks in it, and believe me, it took a while for the bank to be able to utilize it without messing up and causing us a lot of delays and problems. But eventually, uh, we pretty much got the kinks worked out, the banks did too. Now, Many other banks, such as Wells Fargo and Nation Star and a lot of other ones, I won't give you the whole list, have already joined the Equator system now, and that's how we negotiate short sales online. But let me tell you something. It's been such a success now, as far as the banks are concerned, that most of the other banks are moving to the Equator system. Now, the biggest bank that hasn't done it yet is Chase. And the rumor is, is that they're going to be moving to the Equator system by the end of the year. Now, why does this affect you? Well, let me tell you something, folks. When a big bank, or even a little bank for that matter, moves over from the manual system to the equator system, they stop, they throw out the entire negotiating process that they were utilizing, and they start from scratch. So my advice to you is if you have a borrower that is, or rather a homeowner, that is interested in doing a short sale and chases their lender, I would recommend that they get started on it right now so that we know that we can finish it before it gets to the uh, uh, changeover to the equator system. This is Mark Green from Short Sale Operations.